investigation into the origins of the pandemic. With us now is Virginia Republican Congressman Rod Whitman. He is a member of the House Armed Services Committee and joins us now. Sir, thank you so much for being here. So it is your plan to sanction these top Chinese officials uh, until they allow an investigation into that Wuhan lab. How confident are you that that would result in answers, considering there's questions about whether or not there's enough, enough evidence to really come to a conclusion here? Well, Sandra, there needs to be an open, transparent, and independent evaluation of what happened there at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. And the Chinese have not been willing to do that. I think we need to hold them accountable if they're not willing to do that. I believe the world needs to know, and the only way that we make that happen is to be aggressive, to be direct in what we expect out of China and what we know uh, is the information that is out there if they're willing to divulge it. Again, I want to make sure that we are doing everything we can to make sure that we are holding our national security at the highest level. That is to make sure we hold China accountable and to make sure that this never happens again. So we can obviously see that you and other Republicans are leaning in hard on this issue and acting very aggressively towards China on it. How yes. confident are you, though, that the Biden administration plans to be just as aggressive? Well, we don't see that by the Democrats here in Congress. We see Democrat chairmen that are saying they're not going to hold hearings on this, which I think is absolutely unacceptable. Why? Uh, well, they, they say that it takes away accountability from President Trump. They're making this about politics. This should be about holding China accountable. Shouldn't we want to get to the truth? They don't seem to want to get to the truth. They seem to want to make this about partisan politics. This is clearly about national security. It's about holding China accountable. It's about making sure this never happens again. Over 600,000 people in the United States have died from this virus. We need to know how this happened, why it happened, hold people accountable, we'll make sure it never happens again. Why do you think it's only coming to this now? I mean, you, you obviously heard and saw that interview that just aired here on this network with Dr. Redfield and others who were raising red flags so early on uh, to the point where some were receiving, in his case, death threats from scientists not to speak out on this. We, we've heard from Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, uh, who said any suggestions about this originating from a lab were poo-pooed. Uh, it wasn't politically correct in some cases to bring this up within the State Department walls. So what is going on here? As the American people, you are clearly saying with this uh, announcement today, the American people want to know more. So why didn't we want to know more earlier on? Well, I think this was all couched in politics. I think early on, because it came from Republicans, because it was suggested by President Trump, that the media said, no, this is conspiracy theory. We heard them go after Tom Cotton, saying that this is, this is you know, a, a marginal thought here. And they actually made, made fun of, of many of us who said, there's something to this. You know, I'm a biologist by training. I worked in the lab through the years. Mm -hmm. I said, why are we asking these, these, these significant questions that must be answered? And the press was unwilling to ask asked those questions. Yeah. Many media outlets have said, you know, said this was crazy conspiracy theories. We see now that that yeah. is not the case. Uh, many of those in the media have had to walk back those comments as this theory yes. that it did leak from a Wuhan lab uh, has, has obviously grown in popularity, gained steam over time. Uh, so as these leaders, these global leaders do meet now, what are you hearing is the urgency of, on the part of global leaders, because obviously this is a, a global pandemic that we're talking about, mm -hmm. to push for answers and ultimately hold China accountable? I think more leaders around the world are beginning to see the full picture. They're seeing information that has come from intelligence agencies. They're hearing experts on health and viruses from around the world talk about the, the higher likelihood of this being an escape from the lab rather than a, a natural transference from animals to man. Those are world-renowned experts that are starting to call into question these issues. I think countries around the world are saying China needs to be held accountable. They need to be transparent. They need to be open and have an independent investigation about truly what happened there at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. G7 leaders are also called last week a very timely, transparent, expert-led study conducted in China, in China on the virus's origin. You are leading that charge. A couple of Republicans that are pressing for more answers and for the American people to learn more through the world deserves to know act. Sir, I appreciate your time this afternoon. Thank you so much, Sandra. Thank you. Vice President Kamala Harris, meanwhile,